Hi, I'm James Catherall, founder of Catherall Audio. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to access Mainstage's full library of presets, starting with some of the straightforward ways to load in presets, and at the end, I'll show you where Mainstage hides some of its secret sounds as well. Using presets is a great way to get started with programming a concert in Mainstage. There's a common frame of mind, especially for younger, less experienced sound designers, that presets are cheating and that a real professional sound designer creates everything from scratch. Otherwise, you're just copying other people's work. I know I used to fall victim to that type of thinking, but now I've learned that starting with presets can act as a great jumping off point to tweak and develop your own sounds. As some smart guy once said, progress happens on the shoulders of giants. And if you don't plan on ever getting into the world of sound designing, the presets themselves can work great and are incredibly easy to access. Now, step one before you do anything else, you should absolutely download the full Mainstage sound library before going any further. When you first install Mainstage, it only downloads a small portion of the sound library that it deems as essential. To find the rest, you can go up here to the top left corner where it says Mainstage, and then go down to Sound Library, and then Open Sound Library Manager. This is where you'll see all of the additional sounds that are available to download for free. If you have the space, then I highly suggest clicking Select All Uninstalled and then click Install. And if you don't have space on your computer's internal drive, then you can go and buy an external drive like a Samsung T5 SSD and download the sounds onto there. To do that, you'll go back to the same menu, go to Sound Library, and instead of opening the Sound Library Manager, you can go down here to Relocate Sound Library. And this is where you can move everything over to that external SSD. Now that we've taken care of that, let's start with the first type of presets. I have a blank concert in front of me and I'm going to start by pressing Option Command N to create a new patch. Now if I look down here, I'll see the patch library. These are all of the different presets that you can use on different types of channel strips. I have my user patches and this is where any of your own custom patches will get saved. And then you have audio channel presets where you can load something for a voice like maybe a bright vocal and it loads up this fully loaded channel strip to help get you started quickly when you wanna perform with live vocals. All right, let's delete that. Let's check out some of the other presets in the patch library. You can go to aux presets. So this is where you can load things like reverbs and delays. You have instrument presets and even output presets that can help a bit with mastering your stereo output. Now, typically I don't use this patch library when I'm selecting presets and I'll show you why. I'm gonna load a channel strip inside of this patch by pressing Control N selecting Software Instrument and pressing Create. And you'll see that the inspector has changed. It's now showing me presets specific to the type of channel strip I created. So because I created a Software Instrument channel strip, it shows me all of the Software Instrument presets. Now, if we look at this list a little deeper, we can see an intuitive and categorized list of different sounds I can create in Mainstage. So if I know I need a piano, I can click on the Piano folder and then click on one of these piano presets. Now I have a channel strip that's already fully loaded with the sampler instrument, an EQ, a compressor, and a delay. This can help give me a great sounding piano with little extra work on my end. But I still have full control if I wanna tweak the sound further. Maybe if I feel like the piano is a little bit too bright, I can pull down the high end, just like that, and then maybe pull up the low end just a little bit, like that. And let's go a step further and add a reverb send as well. Click on this top one. I'm going to go up here to bus one. So now it's created an aux channel strip. And if I click on that, we see the inspectors now changed to show me all of my aux channel strip presets. Now I'll load our reverb, click here, large spaces, halls, and then go to one that I like right there. And I can pull that up. And voila, I've now taken the stock piano preset and put a couple minor tweaks on it to make it fit my specific taste a little bit better. Let's go back to the inspector and dig around a little more. Let's try orchestral and then strings. And we can load up a strings patch. Now let's try one more. I'll go to synthesizer and then bass. And I'll pick the 80s pluck bass. And that's how easy it is to build a concert quickly through the channel strip library. Now, if you're new to main stage, you may see this big list of sounds and get lost or even intimidated, and that's totally valid. But to help you out, main stage has also added a search function to the channel strip library. 
So if you have a specific sound or instrument in mind and you don't want to go digging for it, you can go up here to this drop down menu and select find in library. And now let's say we want something like a kalimba. Type that in and press find and it's going to take me to a kalimba sound and I can load that. But maybe we don't like that sound. We can go back to the drop down menu and select find next in library and it'll show us the next kalimba. I can load that one. This feature makes it even easier to find the specific sounds you need and get them loaded into your concert quickly. Now, that's just the first version of presets in MainStage, but that's not all MainStage has to offer. Let's go another layer deeper to find sounds that are a bit more hidden. I'm going to start by loading the multi sampler inside of MainStage. And if I go to the upper left corner of the plugin interface, I'll find another drop down menu. This is a whole nother set of presets specifically for the sampler instrument. So because it's the sampler instrument, these are all live recordings of instruments that have been chopped up and loaded into the multi sampler, which gives them a higher fidelity and more lifelike quality when compared to synthesized versions of the same types of instruments. So this top area are all of my custom samplers that you won't have, but you can go down here to factory and these are all the preset instruments. Now, if I select one of these, you'll see that it doesn't load in any extra audio effects. And that's because it only applies to the sampler instrument itself. Any further tweaking of the sound will have to come from you. But this is where the user channel strips can come into play. If you craft the sound through the use of FX and reverbs and delays and it's exactly how you want it, you can go up to the top where it says manual and then click save channel strip setting. And then you can give it a name and save it in this area. And now you can recall this on any future patches or concerts you create on this computer. Now, this drop down menu also has its own search feature so that you don't have to wade through a whole bunch of different samplers. I can go here and hit search filter, and then I can type in something. So, right now, maybe I want to find an accordion like this and hit OK, and then click the drop down menu again. And now it's going to show me only my search filtered instruments. So, I can go here, and now I've got an accordion. And look at that. So there's all different kinds of sounds in that sampler and you can just try typing in different things into the filter and see what comes up. And those preset menus exist for every software instrument inside of MainStage. So let's try another one. I'll load the FM synth and I'll go to the drop down menu. And now there's a whole list of categories that are different types of synth sounds. So I'll go to bass and I'll click house bass. I'll try playing this one. I like how this sounds, but I don't love it. The release is a bit too short for what I want. So let's pull that up. Let's experiment by pulling up these harmonic knobs and see what happens. Okay, no, I don't like that. Let's try this. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's try leaving it down there. But now let's add an EQ and roll off some of those higher frequencies. and add a bit of reverb. So now I've used the preset as a starting point rather than fiddling around from scratch. And I've created my own sound that I'm happy with. Now let's look at one more software instrument that has a slightly different organization of its presets, and that's Alchemy. If you're familiar with Omnisphere, Alchemy is almost identical in how it functions. This software instrument was actually originally developed by a third party company that was then acquired by Apple and incorporated into MainStage. So it has its own style of navigation to find presets. So let's check that out. So here in Alchemy, it's possible to go back to the same drop down menu and go through the different categories right here. Or you can go here and pick some of these different descriptors and that can lead you to different presets over here on the right side. And you can even change some of these categories right here by going to this drop down menu and finding something different. And to take it a step further, you can select a sound and then you have eight more presets down here that tweak that specific sound that you just picked. Each of these are gonna make it sound slightly different as I drag this around. You can see all of those knobs and XY graphs changing. And if you like that sound, you can go over here and rate each one out of five stars. 
So if you spend the time to go through the sounds, whether that happens naturally over the course of your career, or you sit down and shuffle through everything, you can create your own curated list of presets that match your specific taste. So now I promise some hidden samples inside of MainStage. And if you're a heavy user of MainStage, you are most likely familiar with all of those. But let's go to one last area where you can find some cool samples that are ready to be sculpted into your own unique sounds. So we'll stay in Alchemy, but I'm gonna initialize all the settings. And then we're gonna to go to this advanced tab and then tap on the sound source right here and select import audio. When we get here, we'll be greeted with a full list of custom recordings that you can't find anywhere else in main stage. So let's pick a sound and see what we get. I'm gonna click vocals and then let's do solo vocals and then single samples. I can click on one of these and it loads it in. And I can press that there. Now we have its own unique sound or I can go back or audio and then let's go maybe check out a different one. Go to vocals and then let's do vocal phrases. And then here's just a whole bunch of categories and we can click on one of these and do the same thing and see what happens. But so if we go back to that, we can see there's a huge list of different samples. I'm just going through different random categories and seeing what I find. These are all different sound sources you can use inside of Alchemy to help you craft some new sounds. So MainStage is great for all levels of users. It has full preset channel strips loaded with audio effects and all for those that aren't comfortable building their own sounds from scratch. Then you have software instrument presets, which is somewhere in between a blank slate and a fully loaded channel strip. Or if you feel completely confident in your sound design skills, you can start with an empty software instrument and craft the sound to your heart's desire. That's it for this video. Hopefully I was able to show all of you a new area in MainStage to explore and build your own unique tailor-made sounds. If you find this helpful, I would really appreciate it if you give it a like and also press that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next one.